Okay, guys, welcome back to episode 22 of oh, Black Mayhem. Oh, trying to be high up in numbers. <laughs> yes, I am. And uh, I'm here with Ewan, and what are we doing today, Ewan? No, we're not doing the freaking minecart thing. <laughs> what are we doing, Ewan? Tell him. Um, we're making a wheat farm. Yes, we are. Because I feed the cows all the time, and I keep having to go back to spawn to the wheat farm. So, we're going to do our own. Is it going to be a simple one, or is it going to be automated and it's amazing? It's going to be automated and amazing. I'm not sure I can do that. I have it. I have all the redstone and pistons and everything. It's all good. So... It's going to be on the downward slope, like we said, right here. No, we, no fire is involved. Don't my bad, Tom. So, let's just flatten this area out a bit. Oh, laughing, huh? Oh, why would laughing? Ah. All right, we'll be back when we have progress to show. You hear that? You hear it? They're dying. They're dying. Such a beautiful sound. Look at that. That's what we got so far, and I just stockpile it. Um, so I dug out this new base um, last night with Noah. Um, I haven't showed it off yet, I don't think. Wait, did I? No. And, uh, we just organized the whole place about, like, wood is in here and stuff. That's a lot of wood. Um, dirt and cobble and stuff. And this is my favorite chest right here. Boom. Look at that. We got droppers and chain boots and an amazing sword. Yeah, right. Emeralds from Ewan, and awesome good stuff. So, when we left off, we were with Ewan building a farm, and sadly, uh, there was no progress update, but the farm is complete. Um, we did end up building it here. It um, has not been tried out yet um, with the wheat grown. I used iron blocks because I'm freaking rich from the iron golem farm that is complete which I don't think I have shown off yet either um it's pretty cool I did it with super last night or the night before um and we just finished getting the villagers and he did that in the stream um, let's get two spawning levels and got all the doors around here and stuff so, oh, I'm not going to respond because I told him I wouldn't. Um, if you pause the video and read that chat, you would understand. Um, so I have this entrance here. Kind of go for the look that Noah has over there. These things. I need them. Noah we waste them all spawning those. So we come in here and we have lava. It's kind of funny because if somebody's standing in here and you punch them, when you get punched, you jump up a little, and I caught you and on fire. That was pretty funny. That's a trap chest. You can see the red. Um, so I kind of had like the 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 clay blending. I tried. Kind of a fail. Yeah, go ahead, right in there, grab yourself some iron. Um, so we finally got rid of all these terrible chests. Also, me and Saro. Who I'll link his channel in the description along with you and Noah, um, just because I'm a cool guy. We built this snow farm, um, but I need to update it because he did a tutorial, which I will also link. Uh, and we'll have a video. Maybe we'll do that today, at the end of the episode, where uh, he basically redesigned this with like hopper carts, and it collected all the snow. Well, like 99.9% .9 of the snow, and uh, it was really cool. So you see how the snow gets there, and you just have to craft it. Um, mm. And so, let me sh grab some bones, and we'll bone meal. We'll all bone meal it, and I will be right back. All right, I wasn't gonna make you guys watch that, but I just bone mealed the rest, and we can see it go. I had you and do the wiring for this. Um, I don't know how good it is, or if you wasted repeaters or anything, but um, 
Yeah, sticky pistons will retract this with this lever here. So let's see. Oh, awesome. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I thought I was going to get stuck in there. Um, so one thing I was worried about was drops getting stuck on the ledges, but it doesn't look like it's happening, which is awesome. Um, and all the stuff gets collected in hoppers, which are all going down this way. So they'll all fill up this hopper. Um, and I th yeah, I think all of them should fill up this hopper. And why isn't this one draining? Oh, I don't think somebody set up the hoppers right. Nope. Oh no, it is it's draining from down here. Yep, look at that. People do know what they're doing. Yay! So they'll just come down to these two and you can pick them up. I was going to do a really fancy thing where it went like under here, back here, and then there was going to be a chest sitting right here on top of that. This is like symmetry with the lever. But, uh, I don't know. It's okay the way it is. It is a manual replant, obviously. But, uh, not much I can do about that. And I love the way fully grown wheat looks when it's against a log. Like, doesn't that look beautiful? Looks so awesome. Oh, let's flood it down. We'll flip it back in a minute. So, um, you guys are aware that we have this beacon, right? And you're probably aware that we have this beacon. Well, um, the recording didn't save because I never stopped recording after we finished. And I wish I did record it because it was very close. I went down to half a heart. But beacon we have a third beacon um we have some more iron so i was thinking of where to set this up and noah as you know since he's been working hard on his castle he put slats in his castle little slats it is the coolest thing do you see them right there and there where my crosshairs are really cool you can shoot arrows through them and ender pearls too. I don't know if you can shoot into them though. Oh, that was close. Oh, I did it. It's very difficult though, but you have a wide view from inside, which is cool. Um so yeah, this design here where the cobble fades, that's what I tried to do there, but it was a complete fail because it was using two blocks. So the beacon, um we were thinking about where it should go. And I think we decided on putting it, like, here. So, I think I might just lay out, like, the base for it. And we can, you know, figure out what we're going to do after. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. So good. I love making these makes me so happy so I'm the only one on the server with the beacon Ewan helped us fight the wither and uh <laughs> he got he got the 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 wither skull I mean the the nether star at the end and he was like I'm gonna keep it and he wants he wants it so bad when I said I would give him a skull next time I head to the nether which I'm afraid to do because I lost all my stuff last time so yeah the beacon will go there um and I want to, it's really annoying because, see, I have speed here because of the beacon. Um, I'm wondering, wait, how far is this? Can I get it over here? No. When do I start to get it again? Right here. Okay, so that's about 40 blocks from there. Will this beacon reach into there, into the castle? And will it reach to here? Because it's so annoying not having speed around the Angola farm. But um, mainly this beacon is for Noah because uh, he's tired of not being able to run around uh, around his thing. 
So yeah, and the next beacon um, that we get, which will be soon, I I want to do a beacon in episode. How would that be? That would be awesome. Um, but we're gonna need more iron. The next beacon is gonna go. I think right in here um, because we're gonna have lots of farms here we're gonna be building around here a lot so might as well have a beacon for speed back here I love the speed too it's the best perk in the beacon for sure I know one beacon though um, maybe the one that super is gonna have um, is gonna need to go to the silverfish farm the AFK XP farm that I'm gonna build it needs a regen beacon so not sure how that's going to be but yeah look at the zombies uh -huh. so I'm going to stop the recording here and see how far we're into it and see how much time we have left to do some cool things forgot to shut this and replanted Alright guys, I'm back. I want to keep this episode kind of short today, so we're going to end it a bit early, just because episodes have been coming out more frequently, and uh, I like that, because um, I've been playing on the vanilla a lot lately, I just wanted to talk about a couple things. For one, I love getting comments. I read all the comments from all the videos, consider every um, suggestion that I get, and I reply to every single one. Um, even if it's a, a, like the a really stupid comment, um, like Ewan says, like, I see myself, and I write back, yep, I see you, or if you're just saying hi, or whatever. So if you're watching this, please leave a comment, and I promise you I'll reply. Okay? You have my word. Um, also, liking videos is greatly appreciated, too. It lets people, more people see my videos. Still, the number one watch video on my channel is my Alviary Infinite Copper video. That's one of my most proudest videos that I've made. Um, and also, if you guys have not checked it out, um, the Jake Ass trailer is out. Me and uh, NCS Productions. Um, his link, his channel link will be in the description. He has the trailer on his as well. But the normal episodes will be coming up on my channel. Um, and that's, that's a lot of fun. Somebody asked what kind of dirt bike it is in the comments, and I'd like to address that now if you do watch my Minecraft videos, or watch them all. Um, it is a Yamaha, um, 50 cc um, model and it's it's really small and old and I got it when I was in fifth grade um, no actually fourth grade yeah yes yeah, so well f at the very end of fourth grade it was like an end of the year um, gift um, for doing well and it was uh, it was cool when it lasted, but um, we re it's been out of commission for so long and we recently fixed it up and that's why I invited my buddy over and I was kinda joking when I first asked him about Jake Ass, but um, he took it seriously and brought GoPros and stuff so it was awesome so yeah that was awesome um, anything you guys would like to see me do here on Minecraft I'm open to everything, alright? So you think of the wildest idea for me to do, um, and I'll get it done, alright? I'll get it done. If it's, uh, um, like, plant a jungle tree right here, and, uh, have cows hanging from it with leads, go, I'll do it. I will do it. You know me. Or, you know, build a slime farm, or make a lily pad farm I don't even think you can do that something something crazy obsidian farm I know you can do that you can make infinite obsidian with redstone um or something like that I'm not sure 
uh, anything. Oh, make a make a nice nether hub. Make um like Sazuma voids nether portal trap. If you guys have seen that, anything. Um, my nether rail. If you guys have suggestions for my nether rail to make it functional, like like Ethos on Minecraft or whatever, guys. So please comments much appreciated I'm going to stop doing the subscribers announcing them because um, I believe as soon as you hit 50 or 100 I don't remember it you stop getting emails telling you that you have a new subscriber so I'm just going to end that now and I'm going to say thank you to all the people that have subscribed to me um, it's awesome. I love how active you guys are in the comments and everything, and I love getting comments. It's so much fun. I'm really close to 50, and I know lots of people are like, oh, I don't know what to do and stuff. I know what to do. I know exactly what I'm doing, and it's going to be awesome, okay? It is going to be the coolest thing you have ever seen in vanilla. Oh, I'm giving it away. Vanilla Minecraft. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I'm at 58, so probably the next video um, this will happen and I cannot wait so um yeah guys I'm gonna go AFK for the night here dust busters out and about let's bring you back inside you're gonna get cold buddy um I'm out bye bye